Hey, Blue Table fans, it's time for your studio update. Got a lot of things to go over. Uh, Joseph and Cameron are given Dreadfleet a spin, but not painted, so, ah, you can't see those figures. They're not worthy, not worthy of a Blue Table fan's eye sockets. And um, we've got Xana working on some Grey Knights, and those are uh, coming into the home stretch. Check out this free hand that she did. I think that really uh, turned those from uh, drab into fab. Um, this was a sample figure here, right? Yes. Okay, great. A couple of Dread Knights going. Uh, Jordan's working on some Dark Eldar. What's the client initials for this one? KS. Okay, great. Um, here are some um, Space Wolves. Client asked for non-standard, so we went with white armor and a dark uh, sort of military green on those. They definitely have a feel to them. These are the vehicles and uh, heroes in progress. Oh, and this is a treat here. These are uh, 40k uh, chariots of Zinch, three of them. And uh, they're just primed black, so you can't really see uh, them. But uh, each one's converted. These are the uh, Cobra pads from a uh, from a Tomb King's uh, what is it, Crypt Knights or something like that. And this is a um, Skull Taker on Juggernaut conversion. And we just you know you just can't quite see it right, but there you go. So. Uh, and although you may not be able to tell, this Juggernaut has been bulked up about a third of the way. Like his entire back, torso, underbelly uh, has been extended about double. Like this is all, let me see if I can get a pointer in here. From here to here is all Plasticard extension. Same thing on the belly. So it's, uh, it's really quite a one. All right. Uh, I've been working... Um uh, gonna say since yesterday on uh, setting up the next part of the Desert Strike Force. As you may recall, this is uh, you know what that army looks like. Uh, somebody bought half of it. It was about I don't know 1,200, 1,300 points, and so it kind of left us with kind of half an army. Uh, it was technically complete. Uh, but not something that I would do a bat rep, and certainly not 2,500 points. So I've been pulling things out of uh, scrap, not scrap, excuse me, out of uh, paintable. Here's sample figures, and then uh, here's base materials. And uh, just wanted to uh, tell you a little bit about what is being added. Unfortunately, I kind of have to look at my ugly mug while I'm doing this. Uh, 15 auto cannon heavy weapon teams. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's, it's uh, 1,500 points, and I made it slightly more infantry heavy. I dropped two tanks. Hey, James. Um, so uh, we're, adding, um, 55, we're adding a full platoon, which is 55 infantry. So uh, 10 squads and a five-man command. Okay, so um, we are also adding two special weapon squads. Just for kicks, I made them flamer squads. So three regular guys, three flamers times two. Um, replaced all, as you may recall, it was uh, four 10-man units of uh, veterans. Uh, this time around, we're doing um, uh, three of the units, each with three Melta guns, and uh, one of the units with three plasma guns. And uh, I'm adding an overseer for the Psyker Battle Squad, uh, two, replacing two Vendetta gunships, so the force will have three all told. That's the fast attack slots. And uh, one Chimera, uh, that's to replace the one that we um, uh, sold off for the, uh, that had the Psykers in it. And uh, we're going to add one more Colossus, uh, which is this bad girl right here. This is a studio conversion, very nice, made out of a Basilisk kit. And quite frankly, I just found the stat line for that too attractive to pass up. It is a barrage weapon. Strength 6 AP3 ignores cover. So, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I just, just, can't, just can't beat that. So that brings that up to a uh, squadron of, of three. So um, there you go. So that's uh, news item number three. 
Uh, got in some trades today. One is this High Elf Army. It is uh, getting some refurbishment right now. That's repairs. Um, and also I'm going to redo some aspects of it. The uh, banners are this cloth color. I've decided to make them a rich purple. Uh, as you can see, scattered is an accent color throughout the army. Um, you have uh, one, two, three units of 20 Lothurn Sea Guard, uh, one unit of 10 Dragon Princes. There are two Lion Chariots. One's getting um, repaired right now. We're actually magnetizing the banner so it doesn't uh, break off. Uh, looks like 17 Swordsmen. That's from the Isle of Blood set. That is the best sculpt to date. Uh, two bolt throwers. I am going to repaint these so that they, uh, the major wood parts match the uh, turquoise armor. And we've got one, two, three, four, uh, I believe five lords and heroes, at least two mages. Um, again, some models are being repaired. So, uh, But that's a general breakdown for that. That, of course, will be for sale. I'm hoping to uh, put them up against the... Um, Oh, I can say it, against the Studio Ogres, which are just about now ready to go into painting. So those of you that may have read on the blog that I was going to uh, do a dwarf army, I've dropped that in favor of the, uh, the uh, High Elves. And uh, also the Studio um, Desert Strike Force kind of got out of hand really quick. Quite frankly, I can't wait to hit the table with that one. I think they'll be a great foil to the Fungus Nids. Uh, which, as you already know, are getting an expansion of their own. And uh, never mind the orcs. The uh, 40k Bad Moons orcs army, I think, is uh, well over 3,000 points now. Pretty much filling up all the Force Org charts. So uh, I'm really super excited. Again, this is all for sale. If anyone wants to contact me with pricing questions, uh, by all means, feel free to do so. Um, all of these bins, one, two, it's like six of them. They're chock full of things that are going into a uh, scrapyard. Uh, not too many into the paintable section. Uh, notably, a bunch of Tyranids. I've got some Chaos Marines, Thousand Suns. Um, this, uh, this Moloch, this really can't be uh, redone. Um, and so that's, that's slated for the scrapyard pretty much all around. Some Empire guys. Um, they are just all going up, and the uh, and the price is the price is going to be right. Yeah, and in fact, we have that bin to go through as well. So about seven bins of stuff is getting sorted through. So uh, yeah, that's pretty. Exciting. And now it's time for the unboxing. Let's do this thing. Storm Raven gunship. I have this overwhelming urge to talk to talk in an accent. Yeah, it's a storm raven. So anyway, gargoyles, those are for the fungus nids. Those are going to become shrikes, the new set of shrikes. Two sanguinary guard, a fine cast, whatever that guy's name, Njal Stormcaller, and this is going to be just a rune priest for the studio uh, space wolves. I almost said space elves. Canis, fine cast for the studio uh, Space Wolves. Vanguard. Let's make a little pile. By the way, someday we will do a stack to the ceiling. But alas, not to be so today. Drop pod. Manticore. Two times hive guard. This is for a client, by the way. That's what the fine cast ones look like now. Yep. People say, Sean, what do you think of fine cast? And I say it's fine. <laughs> uh, I just made that up just now. Termagants, that's for the fungus nids. And six boxes of assault marines. I do not know what those are for. For a project, though. Close combat terminators. More assault marines. Charge those men with assault. Uh, oh, and some Reaper figures. These are for somebody that works here, aren't they? isn't it? Ah, <laughs> it's is a it John. You? Aha! John, he's such a hoarder. <laughs> he swears up and down he's not. But actually, he is good at getting rid of things. They're for his Malifaux army. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, whoops. Let's drop the receipt. Ormagans. Yeah, this is for the fungus nids. Is that even an accent? Is that, is that German? 
Well, anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. More uh, chronoscope, steampunk figures. That's exciting. Uh, oh, why, oh, why did I order this? This is one of those things where I'm all hot to trot for something, and then I order some materials, and then it falls off the face of the earth, and then I remember. So what was I going to do with this? We had a bunch of Empire stuff, and we needed a good studio fantasy army as a foil for the ogres, right? But what did that end up being? It ended up being the trade back high elves. So I was, but I was the studio Empire, because it was kind of like three different sources of stuff, but it, you know, that, that could fit. Um, I was going to make this into a steam tank. I was going to make like some kind of weird, bizarro war altar type of thing with a giant cannon on it. And I really, what I really like about this kit are these statues of the guys on there. So this is now stock. Great, Sean. Thanks for over-ordering. Katie and Battle Force? Who's that for? Trade. Oh, okay. oh, is that true? Oh, somebody traded. And I can't say enough good things about our trade-in program. Uh, check the link because we'll take... That's the advantage of it. No hassle. No haggling. No, can you take pictures? Can you split it up? Can I have this but not that? What's the condition of this? You know dealing with it. Uh, we'll just absorb everything into the system, into the collective, and that's what we should call the uh, mast shelves for the trade stock program. The collective. The collective. <laughs> um, and you just get brand new stuff shipped to you. But uh, of pretty much whatever you want. Isn't that exciting? And then this. And the uh, Razorback. Yachts of Razorback. That's for the studio, studio Space Wolves. Won't Mike be excited? He's already started on it, by the way. He's gone down into the archives and like pulled all this stuff. He's making it happen. Storm Raven. And as a bonus, an empty box. But the though. Yeah. But uh. All right. I guess that's it. All right. Go ahead. You're on. All right. So I'm going to uh, mention something non-miniatures related. But most people I know who like miniatures battles also enjoy a good book. And November is National Novel Writing Month. So if there's anyone out there who has ever done it before, uh, go ahead and send us an email. Maybe I could friend you on the NaNoWriMo website. And we could track each other's progress. Because I did it last year and won. And I'm planning on doing it again this year. And I'm really excited about it. It's a lot of fun. So yeah. 50,000 words is about yes. how many pages? It's about 175 pages. Whoa! It's 2,000 words a day. Well, it's 1,600 words a day. Okay. For the entire month of November. So you kind of write a novel, yeah. basically. And you did it last year. I did it last year. I got like What was your 50, novel 9, about? 000. It was just a fantasy novel. I, is I'm it published? It. Do we get to see it? No. No one gets to see it. It was... It was like no one's I ever going to see it? But You're it's embarrassed. not in a readable state right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that makes me even more interested so, in it. It's, That's neat. There's parts of it that are really bad. Wow, super you. Like three pages about stupid stuff. Okay. But it was. It, I learned a lot. And it's a lot oh. of fun. Now we must know. And if you've ever thought about writing a novel... There's a big community, and it's right. worth doing. Oh, that's neat. NaNoWriMo? NaNoWriMo. All right. Well, you can get in and edit the liner notes for this one and yeah. put a link if you want. All right. Thanks a lot, Janine. Oh, and can you tell us anything that's coming up today on the uh, we have website for sales section? lots of nids going into the scrapyard. Okay. Of all varieties. The stuff I showed them this morning, Yeah. Basically. Um, and then okay. also, if anyone's interested... Lord of the Rings. We don't have... I, I was thinking about refurbishing this or saving it for a project, but yeah. right now I'm kind of thinking we're going to let it all go as one bulk lot. Oh, okay. All right. Um, so let's do let's do a sight unseen right now. Yes, like and then I'll everything put the in price. bin A. It's so about all this. It's about 150 infantry. Okay. And three different armies: dwarves, so elves, take a good and Mordor. Look. All right, and, and this bin and too. And this bin. Okay. Um, Three dragons. Three dragons. This, uh, Is there anything block. underneath here? Can you lift that? More up? infantry. Okay. These are all the dwarves. All right. So we're going to put a price up for this sight unseen. Yeah. Like you don't get to ask what's in it. 
you just get everything in that bin and everything in this bin for the price named. Looks like about 10 elves in there. Also, there Here's is a troll. All here. nine ring wraiths are okay. in here. And, um, all right. What's his bucket? Uh, Sauron. Sauron. Right. I failed my geek test right there. And, no, you did okay. <laughs> did okay. All right. I, I don't even know if I said that right. I'm pretty sure it's right. Sauron. In the movie. Sauron. Sauron. And then there's Saruman, who's the right. Just to the confuse wizard of many everybody. colors. All right. Uh, sounds good. Thanks, Janini. Yeah. All right. Here's painting. Our two art directors. Quality and control. Which one of you is quality? I think you were quality and you were control. Uh, yeah, they're getting uh, all the projects set up for the coming week. Like who's going to be assigned what. They even got a new shelf here. Yes. New shelf, always good. I'm loving the shirt, by the way. That is completely retro. Where did you get that? It's my grandpa's. Okay, great. A whole trove. Yeah. yeah. A trove of retro. Yeah, that's fantastic. That is really fantastic. Got some ogres coming through here. That's for a client. What else do we have? Here, so is that Dark Elder? Yeah, go ahead and lift that. Dark some Eldar. fine cast incubi. Looking like wow. some tau here. With, oh, with lots and lots of magnetized options. Fantastico. All right. And I've already been. Over here. Oh, here's this Ogre Standard Bear. Let's take a look. There's that guy. There he's in process. Ooh, what are these high elves? Yeah, this is a Studio High Elf Army. Oh, and by the way, this is 3,000 points. Oh, and it's for sale now. Uh, as of Monday, all the touch-ups will be done on it, and it'll be uh, good as new, uh, probably better than new after Joseph's finished working the banners. It's kind of the big thing that we're going to do here. Together. Okay. Grumble Thomas, Pants. Thomas is going to a tournament tomorrow. It's the like third or fourth annual Grumble Pants tournament. It's just a bunch of friends. We all used to play at the same game store. When the game store closed, they started hosting this annual tournament for fantasy. Right. And it's been a lot of fun. And they do a really good job. Oh, so. that's fantastic. How many people? Uh, about 12 to 20. Oh, wow. That's something. Yeah. Do they do it at somebody's house? Where do they host it? In someone's house in the backyard. At somebody's house in the backyard. And I think more people should do that. And That's they really have, amazing. Um, they have these resin trophies they make every year. No kidding. And, uh, That's the best kind. Oh, and the thing I really like about it is they do this thing where you can, if you uh, only take a certain percentage of special characters and magic uh -huh. items and stuff, yeah. you get more victory points. So the okay. less the less overpowered stuff you take, okay. your army's going to be weaker, but you get more victory points. So there's comp. Yeah, it's cool. All right, well that's that's interesting. Good time. That's neat.